De La Wright, my envy this. Welcome. Now, if a person perceives that what they want to do in this world is to flirt with disaster, obviously disaster is going to catch up with them. Report reaching us right now as it is alleged and rumored and reported is that Auntie Blow Blow ran from um, the Olori's mansion where she is at night. They said it was past midnight and drove to the palace and she was screaming and screaming and screaming. And this time it wasn't as if she woke her driver up or anything. They said she drove herself to the palace and she was banging on the major gate, the palace gate that she opened and opened and opened and she was shouting that um, there are snakes and snakes and snakes in her apartment that she um, could count five, that she saw five snakes in her apartment. But unfortunately, at the time that she arrived at the palace, they said it was only Dr. Lizzie that was awake. Kabiesi had gone to sleep. And you know that with the way things went, Naomi had already um, um, told Dr. Lizzie to please be spending time in the palace with Kabiesi to ensure that Kabiesi is okay and his health is okay, that it will not be good for Kabiesi to be seen like that alone. So Dr. Lizzie is always up and doing and trying to monitor and, you know, trying to do everything to be sure that, you know, her husband is fine. So as Pinami told Dr. Elizabeth to always be around and um, be sure that KBSC is doing okay, they said um, Dr. Elizabeth was in the palace when she came. But unfortunately for Blue Blue, it was only Dr. Elizabeth that was um, awake and close to the Oni of Ife. So when they were trying to put a call across to the Oni of Ife, they found out that KBSC was asleep. We think because KBSC is a very busy person, so he doesn't sleep on time. They say sometimes, one, he's not um, even sleeping. So um, um, they now made a decision that once he's, he manages to go to bed, they will not wake him until he wakes up, okay? And so um, now they called, they could not call um, KBSC, but they were going to call somebody that is close to him to know if they should let Blow Blow in. And they said it was Dr. Elizabeth, unfortunately, for Blow Blow. And Blow Blow got, um, and that call came, got to Dr. Elizabeth. Dr. Elizabeth said no, that they should not let her in. If she she is saying snakes, let her continue to see them. That sh they should go, uh, they should go away, they should go ahead and pay for all the crimes that they committed against Queen Naomi and Tade Nikawu Bagam. That is what we are hearing. You know. They said she stayed there and she was blowing fire, blowing brimstone, raving and ranting over what Dr. Elizabeth said because she was right there when they were calling and she heard the conversation that was going on and she knew that that on the other side of the phone, it was Dr. Elizabeth, and she did not take it lightly at all, that she felt really, really bad. Like um, she was saying, who the hell does Dr. Elizabeth think she is to tell her to go back and pay for crimes? What crimes? What crime is that, that they should open the door for her to go in? And they said, no, KBSC has not permitted. And unfortunately, KBSC is sleeping, and, and there is no way that they will open the door because, of course, they will be in trouble. Now, what happened in her house? If this information is true, we um, got a report that she was... So they said in her apartment that um, she was just there and she, first of all, you know, the other day they said she was almost bitten by a snake. And as if that was not enough, they said after the um, event, a la a Badu festival or something, that they retired back home. Kabiesi went um, to his chambers and Timitokwe went to her own apartment and um, Blow Blow now went to her own apartment to rest. According to what she is saying, as it is alleged, she said it was around um, um, 12 midnight. She started hearing um, some noises uh, by her bathroom, okay? Immediately, she now went to her bathroom to go and check. Her bathroom is connected to her bedroom. To go and check, she saw a very big um, uh, snake there, and she ran out to the living room, only to the living room, and she saw two again in her living room downstairs. 
She now started, I mean, um, uh, running back to her bedroom upstairs. When she went there, she saw another one. And she ran towards the kitchen, the kitchen, she saw another one. So basically, she is saying she saw five snakes, like five snakes. So, you know, it occurred to her that she needed to run out of the house. And she ran out of the house. She entered her car and she zoomed off to the parlors. And when she came to the parlors, she was hitting the door, hitting the door, expecting them to open the door so she can find rescue in the palace, um, 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 uh, uh, find refuge in the palace, but they would not open the door for her because um, Kabiesi was not aware to give that permission whether she was to come in at that time of the night. And they said she was so devastated, like so, so devastated. She was crying so much. In fact, the part that really broke her heart was when she overheard that conversation on the phone with Dr. Elizabeth, where Dr. Elizabeth was telling them that uh, she should go back and they should go and pay for their crimes against uh, Queen Naomi and Tade Nikawa. And they say on the other side of the phone, Dr. Elizabeth was talking. On this side of the phone, the guard was talking and she was busy screaming that who the hell do you think you are to tell me what to do? I am as, I am as married as you are to this family. You cannot tell me what to do. You have no right to lock me out and all of that. And this had happened after the event. There was an event yesterday. That event went so well. You could see that they were all very happy right there in that event, sitting by the Oni of Ife. And you know, um, one would have thought that everything is going well with them and sweet and all of that. Then we got this information. If this information is true, this is what they said is going on. Do not forget that I have told you that I am not living in the palace of the Oni of Ife. Neither am I living with Blow Blow or Likbi or any one of them. Um, I just get an information. I reenact it and I post it here for you guys. Um, letting you also know that there are speculated, alleged, rumored information. And also letting you know that whatever you get on social media, you want to take it with a pinch of salt. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Delorama. I bring you fresh and spicy jays from the sauce still on the royals how are you guys doing happy new week to you again and happy new month today is tuesday i pray that god will bless you god will give you good tidings god will bless the work of your hands they are right if i know thank you now waiting again now waiting again waiting again my people i appreciate you now from the depth of my heart I thank you. I love you. I am grateful. Thank you for your contribution and thank you for holding on um, um, to this channel for your loyalty. I never, ever, ever, ever take your loyalty for granted. Thank you so much. People, if you're yet to subscribe, kindly go ahead, hit that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on the notification bell and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Hmm. They said um, um, uh, Blood Blood is running kitty kata, kitty kata, that he, she ran out of her apartment because of snakes. Like snakes were pursuing her left, right, and center, and she ran to the palace. But unfortunately, she was thrown out of the palace. This time, not by Onio Vife, but by Dr. Elizabeth. I'm going to bring you more updates. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you.